So a few months ago, I did my 2021 desk setup tour, but there was one item that stole the show. Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and welcome back to another video. And this little light is a levitating light bulb from Flight. So it's clean, it's pretty minimal and it looks awesome as well. So a few months ago, I uploaded my 2021 desk setup and so many of you liked the look of this bulb and there were quite a few of you who actually wanted a dedicated video and that's what I'm gonna do today. So this is called the Buckminster and I've had it for a few months and I've actually posted about it on my Instagram stores and obviously in my video as well. Now let me start by saying that the quality of this bulb is incredible. I mean the pictures and probably this video won't do it any justice but the overall feel of it is very premium kind of like the price like with any new item that you receive first impressions are everything and when I received this last year I was really surprised with just how nice the packaging was if a box could look premium this is definitely it now as you can see from the box I've gone for the walnut color with the copper style bulb and the style of this bulb is an Edison bulb sort of obviously a classic look now sliding the outer sleeve off it reveals the box inside and you can see it's got the awesome flight logo on the top. Then inside we've got the cork compass and we'll need this later on to actually set it up for the first time. Then we've got some branded cards, we've got the manual, we've got the wooden walnut base, we've got some cables, we've got the power adapter so obviously that'd be different depending on the country that you're in and then of course we've got the bulb itself. And that's it. So I think the packaging and the presentation is really, really nice. And it gives me a kind of a well thought out product here. Maybe I'm more impressed with the packaging than I should be. So this is the base. This is what powers it all. It is available in different colors and finishes as well. But I think the walnut is really nice. It's the best choice. And obviously this is the one that I went for. Plus it fits in with my kind of walnut desk and theme that I've got going on. So this is the bottom. You've just got the logo. You've got some power details on here. And then you've got some rubber feet. So it's not going to slide about when it's on your desk. And the power port is on one side just here and that's it there are no buttons there are no switches so it's a really clean and minimal looking design and as for the bulb itself as i mentioned i went for the copper one which is almost like a rose gold color in as well now i think it adds a nice bit of color into my setup and if you look it's got a silver band that goes all the way around if you look really closely you can actually see it's got the flight branding on that as well now you can get this bulb in silver and gold as well but again i think copper is definitely the best choice even the power cable is nice, it's like a braided cord and it's got the flight logo on each end of that plug as well. Now setting it up is really easy, you just plug one end into the power adapter and then the other end into the wooden base and that's it. Now the first time that you attach the light bulb to the base, you'll probably want to use the provided cork compass. Now this is like a guide, now it actually guides you to where the centre is and it definitely makes it so much easier, especially for that first time. So you line it up on the base and you hold the top of the bulb and it kind of hover over the centre waiting for it to float. Now it did take me a few attempts at first to get this to work, but once it does work you will feel it, you will feel the, the pressure of the magnets as it's forcing it upwards. So as you're moving your hand around, the bulb will actually be being pushed in every direction and if you're not careful it will actually drag the bulb down onto the base if you miss the centre. But once it does grab, you will actually feel the magnets which are inside the base. You will feel the magnets actually pushing the bulb up and away from you. And it's at that moment when you can feel that, that you let go of the bulb. And at that moment, the bulb will just float. It will literally levitate above the base. Now, I did use the guide for the first few attempts uh, because I needed it. But then since then, I can quite easily just grab the bulb, remove it from the base and put it straight back on again with no issues at all. Now originally I did actually try using the bulb without the base, I thought I'm just going to give it a go, let's go all in and see if I can get it to work. But as you can see, I made an absolute mess of it, the bulb was just sticking to the base constantly and it's really powerful. So as you can see here, as the base is actually sticking with the magnets, it's literally lifting the base from the table. But once set up, this is what it looks like, so the bulb just sits here floating in midair. Now it does spin and you've probably noticed that already from some of the b-roll that i've already done now I, you can actually pinch it so if you actually pinch the bulb as it's mid-air you can stop it from spinning but then it will only stop for about 30 seconds and then it will start gradually picking up speed again until it's you know fully rotating once again now i don't mind and i guess that's just kind of the nature of using magnets to keep it floating so when it comes to turning it on and off there's obviously no physical buttons as you can see but there's a hidden touch button inside the base so at the opposite side of the plug, about an inch in, if you actually tap your finger on it, it will then turn the light on and off. So that's pretty neat. And it means that there are no physical buttons or switches, so it looks really clean and minimal. So you do need power for this to work, obviously. Now you obviously need power for the bulb, that goes without saying, but you also need power for the magnets to work. So if you've got it floating in the air and you do decide to pull the cord out, the bulb will just drop and it will stick to the magnets to the side. The bulb is rated at 50,000 hours, which is about 11 years if you had it on every single day for 12 hours a day. 
but you can buy a replacement bulb. So if for any reason you break it or it does go faulty, I guess, you can buy a replacement bulb for just $39 if you need it. So the only issues that I've faced with this so far is if I move the base left or right on my desk, it's got kind of a metal bar on this monitor riser that I'm using. And if I do move it left and right, sometimes I can hear a loud buzzing and I'm guessing that's the magnets that's interfering. And sometimes it will make the bulb drop as well. And once again, I think it's the metal that's underneath the monitor riser that I've got. Again, it's messing around with the magnets inside that base. So as I mentioned before, there are a few different color combos on the website for this bulb as well, but they don't just do floating bulbs. You can also get plants and even a clock. But even if you went for the light bulb, they have a different style as well. So if you don't want this kind of classic Edison looking one, you can go for a modern style one as well. Okay, so the question you're probably wanting me to answer is how much is it? Well, how much do you think it's worth? How much would you be willing to pay for this? But think of a figure now. You ready? Now you've probably guessed it's not cheap, but are you ready for the price? It is $299. $299? For a bulb that floats now i could try and argue that it's a piece of art that it looks awesome and it makes me feel pretty relaxed when i'm watching it spinning around and levitating while it's on my desk but you'll say it's just it's literally a bulb it's just a lamp that's all it is so you could save about 200 dollars and buy a nice looking lamp that looks like an edison bulb but doesn't float but I like the look of this. I think it looks really nice. And I think it suits my desk setup as well. So I'm really happy with it. Now you can buy it directly from their website, but it's also available on Amazon as well. So I've dropped that link in the description. And this is what it looks like on my desk. This is the finished product and the overall look of my desk setup. And I absolutely love it. Now I've not seen many of these around, whether it be on YouTube or Instagram. I'm not sure if that's down to the cost or maybe it's just not a very popular item. Now it's also hard to justify the cost as I've mentioned, but there are cheaper alternatives out there. So if you like the look of this, but you don't want to go with this particular brand, there are others out there for literally $100 for a third of the price. But hopefully, in my eyes, the price reflects the quality. Okay, so you've just made it this far into the video. You're near the end. Can I just get your opinion real quick? There's probably not many of you, so it'd be great to get your feedback. Now, I was thinking of creating a what's on my desk type series. And the idea behind it is I upload videos about new items or accessories or tech that I've recently added to my desk setup. What do you think? Do you think that's got legs? Is that something you would be interested in? So I could do videos about, I don't know, a new speaker that I add to my desk or a my, my plant. Well, probably not my plant. You're not going to watch that. A keyboard or a desk mat, something like that. Do you think that's something that you would be interested in? Now, I did a full desk tour, which I've linked to now. So if you've not seen that, you can see my full desk that I uploaded a couple of months ago. And if you drop a floating bulb in the comments, I will give you a thumbs up as I know you're still here. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like button as it helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Until next time.